Hey there, everybody. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode on this Wednesday of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. New review day, as always, each and every week. Today, we're going to take a look at a, uh, another 50th anniversary reissue of an album celebrating its 50th birthday and anniversary this year. It's the sixth album from British folk rock band Steel Eye Span. Now We Are Six on Chrysalis Records. So this is a band I have long heard about. I've never been that big of a folk or folk rock fan. I do like some bands that kind of dabble in this. But, you know, there's these guys in Fairpoint Convention uh, and, and a number of others who were pretty prominent on the, you know, UK music scene back in the 70s doing their kind of folky brew, folky mix of rock and and in some instances a little bit of prog and whatnot, right? But uh, this is the first, like, full album album of this band I've ever heard. I've listened to things here and there uh, over the years, but never just actually sat down and listened to like whole albums of Steel Ice Band. So um, this is the first time. So I'm going to give you my take on this album, which like I said, is celebrating this 50th anniversary this year. We've got just a kind of basic little digipack here, full lyrics, microscopic. You need like a, uh, you know, in order to read this stuff, unless you get the LP. Um, and then uh, here's the booklet, which basically has a little bit of commentary from uh, all those who are still around, who were in the band, their thoughts on the uh, recordings. Of course, you've got uh, Maddie Pryor, Peter Knight, uh, Rick Kemp, Nigel Pelgrim, Ian Anderson. Ian Anderson actually produced the album. Yes, that Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull. So let me kind of tell you exactly who plays on this. So we've got um, Maddie Pryor on vocals, who sounds amazingly like maybe a less bombastic Annie Haslam from Renaissance. In fact, you know, this album, I believe at the time, got a little bit of flack from the folk community because it was more rock oriented than some of their earlier stuff. It's definitely more rock and prog oriented. Kind of not surprising you got Ian Anderson joining as producer, right? That maybe that would be the case. But um, anyway, I digress. Uh, Mandy Pryor sounds a lot like Annie Haslam. If you like Annie Haslam, you'll probably dig some of the stuff. Tim Hart also on uh, vocals, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, banjo, dulcimer, Peter Knight vocals, violin, mandolin, banjo, acoustic guitar, piano. Um, Bob Johnson vocals, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, synthesizer, Rick Kemp vocals, bass guitar, acoustic guitar, Nigel Pegram on drums, tambourine, oboe, recorder, flute, and synthesizer. You might recognize that name. He also played with Nidralog uh, on a few albums back in the 70s. Spent a little bit of time in Uriah Heep and a couple other bands. So he had House, House Khan, I believe he also played in as well. So uh, Nigel, a uh, prominent drummer and flute and oboe player with a number of bands. And guest musician on one track on saxophone, Mr. David Bowie. Go figure. 1974, you know, Bowie's pretty big, so I guess uh, getting Bowie, getting David to guest playing saxophone on one of your songs, that's a pretty big deal, right? So uh, so what's this music all about? So basically, uh, the album is contains all sorts of different English folk, traditional folk songs. I don't believe there's anything original here. They didn't write any of this stuff here. Uh, and then the last track is uh, an old... Uh, classic so pop song. I'll get to that at the end. But, um, and like I said, I don't have a lot of history listening to this band, but there is a lot of more up-tempo kind of rock-oriented stuff on this album. Not a lot, but there are a few tracks in that vein that kind of have uh, electric guitars and bits of keys and uh, are, are a little bit more rock-oriented. And then there's others that are kind of more like folky jig type of things. Uh, 700 Elves, which is the kickoff track, is a terrific song. Uh, that, to me, sounds like a more or less... Um, piano oriented renaissance but with some Jethro Tull rock muscle behind it really cool song really good rocker it's one of my favorites on the album uh, Drink Down the Moon more of you like a traditional uh, folk song Now We Are Six that's pretty good Thomas the Rhymer is the other more rock oriented that and 700 Elves 
kind of come with a pair. They both have good guitar riffs and just uh, just definitely more rock oriented. And I like them. And the vocals are outstanding. You know, you got almost everybody singing in this band. You got the male and female vocals. Uh, Maggie's just she's awesome. She's soaring vocal style. Uh, but these have good riffs and the, the drums, and so it's not like just acoustic guitars and vocals and things. There's definitely some stuff going on here. Uh, the the Moon Coin jig that is a traditional kind of folky jig type of piece. The acoustic guitars are blazing. Really good song. Uh, Edwin's really interesting. Edwin starts off like almost like doomy with these big heavy guitar riffs, and then it moves into more of just kind of like a sing along type folk song. Very very interesting. Uh, then you got longer longer growing. That's pretty good. Uh, Two magicians also very folky. Then do they do an interpretation of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Uh, you know, it's whatever. Um, it's a cool little children's song, but it really doesn't need to be on here. I don't know, whatever. And then they do uh, a version of the Phil Spector classic, To Know Him Is To Love Him. And that's got David Bowie playing a little sax on it. Uh, that's really interesting. I'm not sure if I like it. It's a weird fit on this album, right, to have this kind of like, uh, you know, more American type song on this album with all these like kind of English folk songs. So... I don't know. And then with the reissue, you get uh, some other uh, sort of things. You get the single edit of Thomas the Rhymer. Again, that might be my favorite song on here. Thomas the Rhymer is great. That and 700 Elves, for me, is worth the price of admission on this album. Uh, then you get uh, a BBC uh, version of Two Magicians, which was recorded in February 20th, 1974. In fact, uh, all these are from a BBC session from February 20th. You got Edwin. Uh, also from the same session, Longer Growing and Thomas the Rhymer, uh, full version, all recorded at the BBC Sound of the 70s, uh, February 20th, 1974. So you get some cool uh, alternate renditions of some of these tracks on here. So, uh, so yeah. So I, I enjoyed this. Uh, will I be reaching for this all that often? Yeah, probably not. But the, the songs that I like on here, I really like a lot. Uh, I would love like a full album of that sort of thing. That would really, I think, interest me a lot. But uh, you know, you gotta you gotta really dig this folky stuff. The vocals are amazing throughout. Really, really nice uh, singing going on here, and the instrumentation it's great. It's just you know me and folk, but the more folk rock and folk prog type stuff on here. I like a lot. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 star because I think it's really good stuff. Uh, again, if you love this sort of thing, you will love this reissue. It sounds great. Uh, this has uh, been remastered, and uh, the bonus stuff is pretty cool. Uh, again, you get like kind of alternate versions of some of these tracks from the BBC. And uh, nice... Nice little commentary from the rest of the from the band and uh, Ian Anderson on here to talk about the album and their experience with it. So go check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. We'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.